Welcome to Tech and Travel. In this episode, we'll look at five specific accessories that will make your experience with the new iMac absolutely fabulous. We've done a full review of the new 2020-27 inch iMac. To see the full review, please click at the links below in the description or towards the end of the video. So as we went through in detail in our previous episode, the base configuration of the 27 inch 2020 iMac itself is good value for money. And for most users, that will serve them well. Now, let's start off with that base configuration and see how we can make it much better. So let's look at the five accessories that will make your new 2020 iMac absolutely fabulous. Starting with number five, firstly, let's look at storage. The base model of the 2020 iMac comes with only 256 GB of solid state drive. That for most users wouldn't be sufficient. What we would recommend is going for the Samsung SSD T7. It's a solid state drive with one terabyte of storage. It is convenient, small, and has really good design. Now, this is a major upgrade from Samsung. This solid state drive is quick. It transfers close to one gigabyte per second. This Samsung SSD T7 is 2x the speed of the previous T5 model. To put that in perspective, it is now about 8 to 10 times faster than the fastest hard disk around. And it's pretty simple and easy to install. It's a simple plug and play. For most users, the challenge going with an SSD used to be the exorbitant price. The good news is that SSD prices have been falling. It has become a lot more affordable now. It will cost you about 170 US dollars to get one terabyte of SSD compared to let's say about 70 to 80 dollars to get a similar hard disk capacity. At number four, let's look at the keyboard. The base model comes with the relatively smaller 11 inch keyboard. Now, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that upgrading to the Magic Keyboard with numeric keypad gives you two great benefits. One, it gives you the extra number keys. Second thing is it gives you the up-down arrow keys, which is also useful for gaming. For aesthetic reasons, look at the proportions. Here is a 27-inch screen. You do not want a keyboard sitting small there. You really want a proper keyboard in front of it. On number three, we would recommend that you go for the Magic Trackpad 2. Essentially, it will give you the same trackpad experience that you get on your MacBook Pro 16 inch. It gives you the force touch and the 3D touch features that you're so used to on the iPhone. Next, at number two, let's look at the RAM. A quick recap. The base model of iMac comes with the standard 8GB of RAM. That is probably not sufficient for most users. The good news is that it is fully configurable all the way to 128 GB. So you can upgrade it all the way from 8 GB now to 128 GB. And this iMac has a fully user upgradable RAM slot at the rear. So it's pretty simple. What you need to do is go to Amazon, find the right model and, and simply order it. Apple specifies that you should get a PC4-2133 RAM. The PC4-21300 is also a like-to-like -like RAM and it's perfectly fine if you go for that. Just make sure that it's a 260 pin, 2666 MHz DD4 SD RAM and you're good to go. For most users, upgrading to 16 GB should be sufficient. But in case if you're a high-end video editor or, or you're playing super high-end games, you might want to consider 32 GB as well. I personally went for Crucial RAM, which had good reviews all the way through, and it is compatible with iMac. While 16 GB would have been sufficient for my usage, I went for 32 GB to make it a bit more future-proof. The next thing that we would recommend is that you get a HDMI display extension. 
This iMac has lots of ports, but unfortunately, Apple has not provided a HDMI port, arguably for faster speeds of a Thunderbolt 3. So what we really need here is an adapter that converts your Thunderbolt 3 to HDMI. So this Thunderbolt 3 to HDMI cable should help you connect to just about any display that you would like to. This screen is really large, but just in case you need another screen for novelty value, what we would suggest is you can use AirPlay and using Apple TV, you can just about extend the display to any other screen. And using the latest Mac OS, you can actually use the sidecar feature to extend your iMac display to iPad. So these were the five accessories that we believe would truly enhance your iMac experience. If you know of any, please add it to your comments and we'll make sure that we include them in the next video. For more such unbiased reviews and for the latest in tech and travel, subscribe to our channel, Tech and Travel.